This video will help you assemble your new Eureka Airspeed All Floors or Airspeed Exact Pet Vacuum Cleaner in just a few steps and without tools. First, unpack the vacuum and identify all the parts of your new cleaner. The vacuum base, the backbone and hose, the handle and turbo nozzle, the extension wand and crevice tool, the dusting brush, and the dust cup. The parts and accessories that come with your vacuum may vary slightly from the model shown here. First, align the backbone and push it down, snapping it into place. You should hear the snaps when assembled correctly. Be sure to gently pull up on the backbone to ensure that it is solidly attached. Next, place the handle on top of the backbone and firmly snap into place. Again, gently pull up on the handle to ensure a tight fit. Your vacuum may come with the hose already attached, which means you will not need to complete the following step. To attach the hose, locate the hose connector and align the tabs with the tabs on the vacuum. Press the pieces together and twist the hose clockwise to lock it into place. With the hose attached, wind it through the hose retainer. Place the end in the designated hook and press the hose into the retainer clips on the side of the vacuum. Place the dust cup onto the vacuum by setting the bottom of the dust cup on the circular rest on the vacuum base. Then push the dust cup toward the backbone to lock into place. Confirm the dust cup is latched by gently pulling it away from the vacuum. Your crevice tool will come nested inside the extension wand. If it does not, place the crevice tool inside the extension wand and attach both to the side of the vacuum in the storage clips. Place the dusting brush onto the back of the vacuum. The turbo nozzle should already be attached to the handle. If not, clip the turbo nozzle into the holder on the front of the vacuum handle. To store the cord, wind it around the cord wrap hooks on the back of the vacuum. Your new Eureka Airspeed vacuum is assembled and ready to use. For convenient cleaning, route the power cord through the cord clip on the vacuum. To recline the vacuum, step on the handle release pedal near the base of the vacuum and pull back on the handle. Step on the power switch to turn the vacuum on. To turn it off, step on the pedal again. To prepare your vacuum for cleaning floors, turn the Airspeed Airflow Control Switch to floors. The Eureka Airspeed has a carpet height adjustment, which is used to clean various types of carpet. Begin vacuuming with the height adjustment at the high carpet position, and then adjust it down to set it correctly for your carpet height. The vacuum should move easily across your floors. If your vacuum comes with an on-off brush roll, you can clean bare floors by setting the carpet height adjustment to bare floors and turning off the brush roll using the brush roll on-off pedal located on the left side of the hood. Step on the pedal to turn the brush roll off. Step on the pedal again to turn the brush roll back on for carpet cleaning. If your vacuum does not have an on-off brush roll, it is engineered for superior carpet cleaning. To clean using the hose and accessories, keep the unit in the upright locked position and turn the airspeed airflow control switch to tools. Attach the desired tool to the end of the wand. Store the tool on the vacuum when your attachment cleaning is complete. Then turn the airflow knob back to floors. The features of your airspeed vacuum may vary depending on the model purchased. If you have additional questions about assembling your new Eureka airspeed, please refer to the owner's manual or contact our customer service helpline at 1-800-282-2886. We hope you enjoy using your new Eureka Airspeed vacuum cleaner.